Hello everybody and welcome back to J Smith and Prescription Pixels 12 Days of Christmas. I have a hat today and I am I'm going ape. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not going ape, I'm going reindeer, I'm going Rudolph. I'm going Blitzen and Donner and... Blitzen! Bla and yeah. Vixel! And Prescription Vixel. And then J Smith, J Blitzen OTI. That doesn't make any Name sense. Name any of these. It is, it's, uh, it's, it's Rudolph. And then Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, and Vixen, Comet, Cupid, and Donner, Blitzen. Um, and then anyways, it is, it's, it's the, uh, it's, <laughs> it's the, the, the five, five golden rings. And the reason that we decided the Yogg would be for the golden rings is because there is a golden ring in the Yogg. And we are going to try our damnedest to get to it. Or else, it's we're just gonna keep on redo, redoing all of these until the end of time. I have a secret hidden agenda. You have a oh, so you're gonna do okay. That's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you do your agenda. And you can be the ring. And then I'll be the ring bearer. Ring bearer. I'll bring I'll bring the you're ring. You have to, to bear the the bear weight the, of the world. The weight of the ring. The weight of the ring. I think it it should be able to fit on my finger. Take it to the forest of Mount Doom. Right. Do you think it will look good on you? I think it look great on me. It makes me look good. So. As this is the Yogg, we get to pick our characters. Who would you like to be? Well, we established the last time we played, because I always play Blue Lady. You always play Blue Lady. But we established the last time we did it that she always goes first. She always goes first. And I'm not thinking about being first. So you don't want to be first. No. So you, okay. I'm going to be the orange dude. You're going to be orange dude. I'm going to be the green man. Oh! This is, this is this new is for you. us. Yeah. We're, we're never usually men. No, we're always. I'm, I'm usually the red lady. I like the red lady. But, so we got orange and green. Those are Christmas colors. We should be red and green. We should lady. be red and green. I'll be red lady. Alright, that sounds good. Wait. Wait. There we go. <laughs> yes. Alright, so we're red and green. Christmas colors. Christmas colors. For the 12 days of Christmas. On the fifth day of Christmas, the Yule brought to me. The Yogg will be here in six weeks. No, I want to do these. You want to do these? Well, you're not even saying words. I was singing the Twelve Days of Christmas, you scum. You gotta read the Yogg like it's a, like it's a Christmas carol. No, I'm just gonna read it. Okay. Because I never get to. It's always you. Okay. Then I get to do the voices. The voices. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, you do all the narrative the, in between. Mm -hmm. All right. That sounds good. Oh, you do the narrative in between, and I'll do the voices when people speak. You, you're, you're the, the exclusive. Okay, that that works. I like that. The York will be here in six weeks, so no one expects it. Not one of us. We just keep on living our lives, week by week, unaware. Week one? Gus! Where would... Me! I'm me! <laughs> I go first! This never happens! Where would me like to go? Where would me go? like to go? I'm, I'm gonna go to the gardens. I need to go to the gardens, and I need to landscape. I'd love it if this was the, like you just got the ring. I would. I want the, you spend the week maintaining plants in the royal garden. I made a really sweet elephant there. That's such a good elephant. Yeah. I gained one finesse, one physique, and I earned myself one wealth. One day, I come across an elderly man snoozing in the grass. You there, young person! He waves you over. I'm having an awful time trying to nap in the bright sun. Do you mind giving me some shade? Now I can block the sun for the old man, or I can decline. I'm going to roleplay as Scrooge, and I'm going to decline. <laughs> the, the old man seems pretty creepy, so I mutter something about having an appointment and excuse myself. I don't think I've ever seen anyone turn him down. <laughs> I turned him down. I'm going to the alchemy tower, please. I'm already there. Look, You're already there. Quite, yeah. Where can I brew? Uh, you, could, you could brew a clean lab. Sip and play. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic in one mind. One day, while in the tower, one of the alchemists asks you to watch his potion while he's out. Soon after he leaves, the potion begins bubbling out of control. If you don't do something soon, it'll explode. Chuck out the window! Boom. You toss the potion out of the window and watch its contents empty in the town's water supply. Quick thinking, you gain one mind. You take off early for the day, hoping nobody finds out. They say the last time it came, the Yorg devoured houses whole, stole lives, tore families and family members apart. But that was so very long ago. This is turning into a really good Christmas tale. Week two, 
I get to go. I'm gonna go back to if I go if I don't go to the gardens. <laughs> you're you're not going to. Are you gonna no, go? No. No, I'm going. No. So it's me uh, up against. <laughs> If I meditate, is that gonna help my chances? I can't remember how you get the ring. You spend the yes, week. What's he up in to? He's meditating. That, no, he's pooing. He might be pooing. Well, who <laughs> poos like that? He's <laughs> no, he's not even squatting. He's like kneeling. No one poops oh, yeah, like he's that. Kneeling. No. <laughs> you gain one magic and two mind. <gasps> yes. Uh, one day on your way home from the park, you come across a golden course, ring. Of course he does. Look how close his face yeah. is to the ground. He's gonna see everything on the floor. One golden ring. I can sell the ring or wear the ring. Oh. Scrooge. Scrooge would sell the ring, but it's but in this. Maybe the this is Christmas. this is his turning point. Yeah. Turn on. Turn down week the old two. man. Week two is the turning point. You know, the sometimes the climax comes a little bit early. <laughs> it's a premature climax. You wear the ring upon placing the ring on your finger. <laughs> orange glowing markings appear on the outside of the band. The markings unravel themselves in the ring and swirl oh, in oh, front of Oh, it's me. It's me. Start my turn. They form in what appears to be a fully armored ghost radiating in a beautiful orange light. The ghost oh, no, turns yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you want to do it? You want to nod? <laughs> the ghost turns to you and nods before walking away. He only away. speaks if you're not worthy, doesn't he? I don't think that I've never seen him be not worthy of someone. The oh, ring is that the dagger? Looks good on you. Yes. Oh, you gain one charm. Sweet. That's that's there awesome. Go, <laughs> there you go. Week two. Now we get to target achieved. Yeah. You get to do what you want for the rest of the six weeks now. Can I go to the tavern and bartend? And bartend. Bartend, so we play. You spend the week serving drinks at the tavern. What's up with the French? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you earn one wealth and tips and gain two charm. One day, the tavern throws its annual dart tournament. I almost said tantrum party, cantrip party. Would you like to enter or spectate? Um... Oh, I've got... Oh, no, that's... No, I'm still putting you in <laughs> to tempt me. Um, I'll, I'll just spectate, please. Oh, wow. Well, I'm going to suck if I... You watch the tournament from the sidelines because you're too scared to enter. Analyzing throwing techniques, you gain one finesse. Sweet. Everyone seems to be laughs. It, it was on us in a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The earth shook, and the air went still. Week three. Jay Smith OTI, where would you like to go? Well, I don't know. I never get to go first. This is interesting. I get the whole place to my, I don't even know, bone wheels. So I want, um, I want magic. Why can't I ever get magic? You never let me get magic. I spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. Get my lab! No. I gain two magic and one mind. Yeah, I give you all the magic. One day, I hear cries for help coming from the next room. Running over to investigate, I see the alchemist there have accidentally created an ooze monster. Ooh. It's made out of, like, gingerbread and... Giblets. Giblets? Yeah! Like the insides of a chicken? Turkey. Yeah? Christmas turkey. That's gross. What were they doing with those two <laughs> things at the same time? Ew. Gingerbread giblets. Uh, Alright, if you had gingerbread giblets, I would be alright. Like, make little morsels out of gingerbread. <sighs> but don't, like, dip your giblets in gingerbread and bake them. Or do it. I don't know. You might like that. That's gross. How do you dispatch the ooze? Oh, it's man. You. Yeah, I'm gonna blast it with magic. I got here for no reason. I, I came here for a reason. To kick ass and do magic. And I'm doing both right now. You pulverize the ooze into a puddle with an array of magical spells. And the alchemists all cheer. And I gain one charm. Well done. Thank you. Where would you like to go? Can I see my status? Yes. Um. I'm doing better. What? I said I'm doing better. Yeah, you are doing better. That's Be true. Better butter. That's a better. Where yeah, I don't know why I suck so much. Where are you going? You had a, uh, you had a game plan. Oh, I did. And then? Well, then I s realized I suck. So what are you going to do now? You're going to go to the forest, the arena, the gardens, palace, tavern, hospital, or scums? I'll go to the gardens. You're going to go to the yeah, gardens. You're already meditate. there. No, I'm going to go and meditate then. Meditate. You spend the week in deep meditation. 
You gain one magic and two mind. Walking past the pond one day, you see a fat little frog sitting on a lily pad. Please, miss. The frog begs. I'm not a frog at all, but an enchanted prince. If you could see your way to kissing me, it would break the curse and return me to normal. What would you like to Obviously, do? Obviously, I'm going to kiss the frog. You're going to kiss the frog? Yeah, with my eight magics. You I bend, bend down. Sorry. You bend down <laughs> and kiss the frog. Yes! Suddenly, the frog is enveloped, 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 or enveloped by a clued of <laughs> shimmering fog. 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 <laughs> <laughs> when the fog clears, the frog is gone, and a tall, regal man is standing in the pond instead. He thanks you for helping him and gives you a handsome reward. You gain two wealth. Someone else is a bit Scroogeish this Christmas as well. A handsome reward. He have two coins. That's more than usual. As word spreads of your deed, your reputation improves. You gain one charm. Thank you. And then the world was a howling fury, chaos, screaming, the sound of all we knew being pulled in harm. I always thought that was howling fury. 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 Nick Fury. Yeah. Yeah. Furries. Is <laughs> that so you I used to walk? <laughs> yeah, I'm not dick. Um, I know. Uh, okay, so, I want, um, I'm gonna go back to the alchemy tower, I want, I want, ma I want magic. Is there any way they can get magic? and go to, like, yeah. Just go and get some more magic. Just want magic. You spend the week experimenting to... with different potion brews. You gain mm -hmm. two magic and one mind. One day, an artificer stops by for a visit. How many charms have you got? She is adorned with magical gadgets and gizmos and fall everywhere by her clockwork spider. The alchemists go to the tower, all go after her way to impress the artificer, offering an array of potions and elixirs. After she's leaving, she adorns the most charming of the alchemists with a special trinket. And it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Shaggy. Usually it, phys it actually says, and it wasn't you. No, no it doesn't. Yes it does. No it doesn't. I always say that. That's no, it I... does say that. No. Did it just say it then? No. You think Damien saw her just, oh, I'm gonna get her good this time, and program it in there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go somewhere. Look <laughs> at your finesse and then your mind. And then look at my finesse and then my mind. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna get you straight to the palace and see how this all unfolds. Alright, you want to do administration work or attend a ball? I guess the ball? Yeah, that would make sense. You kiss the frog, maybe you'll be there in ball form. <laughs> you spend a week attending fancy gatherings. You gain two charm and one finesse. One day, the king approaches you. Excuse me, but you look like someone who I can confide in, he says. I really want a prince to take over the throne. Well, you'll get one in a minute, mate. But the queen and I aren't exactly active in the bedroom. He, bl oh. he blushes a little. Do you have any advice on how I could uh, romance the queen, so to speak? Would you like to teach the king your ways or admit you don't know how to help? Well, this could complicate things. If he, if he gets the queen knocked up... And then the prince is like, comes back, and he's like, well... It's, it's weak. Is the prince going to be born, raised, and <laughs> come popping out of a queen in two weeks before the kill again? <laughs> so, no, it's not Earth, is it? It's magic and yeah, monsters you're right. and demon babies and stuff. You're not wrong. I don't know what gestation of a human is in the York. All right, all right. Yeah, I'll teach the king my ways. I'm dead charming. Dead charming. You spend hours drawing a bunch of diagrams and going through scenarios with the king. By the end of it, he's just as charming as you are. He thanks you and hands you a large sack of coins as a <laughs> reward. Sack. You gain three wealth. He gave you more money than the prince. He did. He probably cares about you a little bit more. When it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild? Move on? Be strong? Or have we forgotten? Week five. I'm going to the palace. I oh, know you're going to go to the palace. You're going to you want it to. You spend you want the it week. To blow up. You spend the week. You want doing it to blow up and you want to use your magic to stop it. You spend the week doing paperwork for the palace. You're paid two wealth and gain one mind. 
One deer. God, I hate the jester so much. Everyone laughs at his dumb joke, but I don't understand because I'm dumb. <laughs> I don't want to ask for an ex- I'm just going to figure it out on my own, alright? <laughs> Several hours later, I figure it out, and a small chuckle is had. After that thinking, you gave your mind a workout. I gained one mind. No, I can't go to the valleys. Nope. Scummer? I, it is scummer. I'm going to go... Fuck, fuck you. Yes! You want to go to the hospital? You knew me! I know. And you probably want to clean up. How do you know me so Is that well? it? Yeah. Ooh. You spend weeks stealing your mind against the horrors of the hospital, making sure it is as clean as can be. I might be. as well not be playing. You gain one mind, one physique, and earn one wealth. One day, a patient whose voice has been cursed and replaced with piano notes will not stop talking. All the other patients are complaining that his voice is making the hospital even more depressing. The doctors have tried convincing him to stop talking, but to no avail. Would you like to decipher what he's saying or sing with him? I might open the curtains. Yeah, do it. Just reach on over there. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. It's actually daytime. <laughs> yeah, it is daytime. It's really cloudy and awful. I get we left the curtains open when the AC wasn't on, didn't we? Mm, what? We had the curtains closed. Would you like to decipher what he's saying or talking to me about things <laughs> that are going on IRL? Gonna <laughs> <laughs> sing with it. <laughs> You start trying to sing along with his voice. <laughs> the two of you start singing wonderful melodies together, making everybody happy. Well, it's Christmas, we're singing Christmas songs! What? You're singing People Christmas carols! People keep sacks! One of your doctors slips you a sack of coins to thank you. You gain two wealth. It's, uh, people are generous around Christmas. Yeah. We're singing carols with the patients. One week away. The York is almost here. Almost. Alright, no! We did this all wrong. This is Christmas. It's almost here. Almost. Christmas! Almost. Christmas. That's what it should have been. Almost. But, but, sorry, what kind of Christmas is it when it comes with a terrible storm that decimates everything? Spoilers, sorry. Have you ever heard of Krampus? Isn't he like from like the Netherlands? He's like the evil Santa that like hates people and steals them and brings them in the woods. And Krampus! Yeah. He's almost here. Yeah, almost. almost. Yeah! Almost! <laughs> Krampus is a scary dude. <laughs> You don't mess with Krampus. <laughs> Never forget Krampus. Never forget. Hashtag Krampus. I'm doing it. Oh, fuck it. All right, hell. all right. I what? won't do no, it. No, I'll go leave on, it. Go on, go on, go on. I want to see how it pans out. It's but at least attend the ball. Attend the. I love, I love the wine. <laughs> I love holding the wine glass. I spend the week attending fancy gatherings. You gain two charm and one finesse. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is exactly what happened last time. Would you like to learn to juggle? He asked excitedly. I know. He didn't say oh. anything for that. <laughs> I, that's what I was gonna try. I was trying to get the magic so that I could go. Yeah, so you could go do this and, and have not a, get harassed by the jester. All they do is harass us. I'm sick of it. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, fuck it. Why not, eh? Arena? Yeah, compete. Alright. You spend the week Fight fighting back. brutes in the arena. In the spirit of Christmas. Yeah, you're fighting Krampus. Krampus! Yeah. That's what Krampus looks like. It probably is. You gain two physique and one finesse. One night, on your way home, you spot a rusty dagger on the ground. It's late for that, innit? Pick it up. Pick it up. Upon picking up the blade, everything goes black. When you open your eyes, you find yourself in a dimly lit room with a hooded man in front of you. Hello. He says. <laughs> You've been chosen to be the nearest member of the Silent Daggers. This is a little bit different than how I thought, <laughs> but that changes my aspects of, the, of what this could mean entirely. <laughs> he did not have any choice in the matter. The dagger's now your life. You'll do as it commands. In return, it'll keep you safe. Suddenly, <laughs> you're lying in your bed at home. This is like... My 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 vision of this just ex examining the dagger. You notice the blade is no longer rusted. Also, in Greater of the Hill, is an image of a headless raven. The storm arrives in the night. By the morning, it still rages, and for three full days, the tempest puts us through a grinder, drowns us, crushes us, and ruins us. But then it ends. We see the graveyard. Our home has become our home. Does anything yet live? Is it 
are we past saving? Let's figure it out, shall we? Now it's time to choose our roles. In Krampus! Krampus, Krampus laid waste to our town. Fuck, shit up. He pooped on everything. Um, <laughs> he, did, he did a green man in the forest, in the woods. Pooping on things. Yeah. Green man. Green man. My man. Green man. Oh, okay. Green man. This green. I thought it's always sunny is a thing. Uh, anyways. Green man. Green man. Um, finesse. My, uh, in the spirit of Christmas, you have to try to win this, right? Yeah, of course. All right. So, finesse. I'm a finesseful man. You are, you're a terrible lady. I'm wealthy. Uh, you are very wealthy. People all right, that's good. People kept giving me shit. I don't yeah. know why. I, get, I turned up places and people just threw money at me. All right, all right. So, how about I be... The, I like being the tailor. I think they're my favorite. Finesse. Yeah, that's finesseful. Good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I volunteer to weave and mend clothing for the survivors to keep warm. I manage to make a new set of clothes for every survivor. Morale increases and everybody is pretty excited for their new socks, scarves, hats, etc. This helps the survival effort a lot. I'll be the smelter. They're gonna be a smelter. Whoever smelt it, melt it. But seriously, you volunteer to smelt your now useless coins. Charity! In the building materials. So yeah, charity that's, of Christmas. It's the charity of Christmas. I was making them toys, and then or, or scarves for the needy, and then you gave them uh, coins. Actually, you melted all your coins. You didn't give <laughs> anyone. You can donate shit. Your former riches provide wealth metal for the survivors that build with. This helps their survival, the survival efforts immensely. You lose a lot of money in the process. Though. You lose three wealth. You lose another three wealth. And so, we set about our tasks, once more living our lives. This way, wait, what? The, I, the, it's alright. This time, in a way we might never have expected, or even wanted. But in the end, in capitals, it was a struggle. Oh. It was a struggle. <laughs> a struggle we never I oh, did been stripped apart. We did our little language. Whether we succeed or fail, we did our best. Who knows if Krampus will visit us again? <laughs> Who knows if we ever will be? Can Emma be ready for him? Krampus. Krampus. Uh, it's better than the bad ending. It's yeah. not the good ending. Yeah, we got a nice sunset. Yeah. Oh, look, it's raining. Yeah, we couldn't overcome Krampus's destruction. While the town is being rebuilt, I go back to meditating in the park. I spend weeks at a time sitting in one spot trying to cross to another plane of existence. After years of attempts of self-sacrifice, I finally manage to cross over to the astral realm. And I come to find that the astral realm is exactly like the normal realm, except everyone's eyes are slightly smaller. I don't know how to get back home. <laughs> That's my favorite ending! <laughs> I love that! While the town is being rebuilt, I decide to become a full-time arena warrior. You've got to press the button. I gotta press the button. You slowly rise the rank, knocking out scores of fighters. Sorry, I slide it slowly rise the rank. Even ones as great as Jean Leba. Before long, oh Jean. It's Jean. That was Kelly's boyfriend. Was it? Yeah. Kelly. God damn it, Kelly. Before long, I become the arena champion. I travel across the world, fighting the very best of the best. I've never seen this. Yeah. Tales are sung far and wide of my mighty feats of power. Smug. <laughs> that's so smug. <gasps> oh, that's it! That was a well good ending! That was it! That was a good ending! You Christmas worked out well for me! Christmas worked- yeah, you slayed everybody. Well done. Oh. You murdered. It worked out well for me! You turned into Krampus. You are the Krampus. Art writing by uh, Emily Carroll and uh, program by Damien Sommer. And writing as well. And writing as well. Um, I love y'all. It's an amazing time. I hope you all have a great day. Um, this has been the end of, of our... The, what day of Christmas is this? The fifth. The fifth day of Christmas. So, uh, yeah. Fifth day. Golden rings. Five golden rings. We probably can't sing that. It's probably a thing that we can't sing. But you do it anyways. My key was probably off enough that it counts as not a copyright. Thank you everybody very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow for more Christmas Wonderland. And uh...